Hi there. How you doing? I went to sleep, obviously. I changed clothes, I saved the game, and I'm ready to go. Gonna do some classes and then whatever the next mission is. Let's see what's going on in here. Guys running around, prefects. Hey, where's that guy going? Oh! Oh, the next class is here. Well, whatever it is, geography. Oh, okay. There's uh, no geography class in the PS2 version. Mr. Matthews, well, he's not in the PS2 version either. Unfortunately, I'm not too bad at geography. Maybe I'll do okay. All right, pick up flag, release flag. Match the flags to the chorus. Oh, shit. Oh, wonderful. Okay, well, Spain is right below the Bay of Biscay. Finland, um, I know is up there next to the Baltic Sea. Switzerland, hmm, is right next to France. Greece is right above the Mediterranean. Ireland is way over to the. Oh, do you see that? You see the Loch Ness monster? <laughs> Ireland is right below Scotland. Over the Atlantic, they put the Loch Ness monster. That's cool. All right, uh, Norway, way up top there, next to the Norwegian Sea. Uh, the United Kingdom, I know, is there because the English Channel is between the UK and France, which they put an Eiffel Tower there. Real hard to miss that one. All right, Germany, I know where Germany is, right next to Poland, which actually Poland used to be part of Germany until World War One. All right, the Ukraine is right there above the Black Sea Poland obviously right next to Germany Denmark Denmark is right next to the North Sea and we have Sweden is uh, to the left of the Baltic Sea so that's all good Romania is clearly over there because I'm a Dracula buff so I know where Romania is. Obviously, Italy is shaped like a boot. And Portugal is the only one left. Uh, right above the Strait of Gibraltar. That actually wasn't so bad. Um, I am not looking forward to seeing what the next ones are going to be. And I got an Eiffel Tower hat. Yeah! That's not gay at all. I'm going to sip the brew. Follow Angie out the door. Chase her down. What's up, brother? Excuse me. I'll tell you what. That uh, wasn't so bad. Um, I didn't know what most of the flags... Speaking of Angie, there we go. I didn't know what most of the flags of the countries in Europe were, but I know where the countries are, so that was a big help. That being the first one, that means they're only going to get harder. So, that can go either way. Man, she just wraps around you like a python, don't she? That's a horny little chick right there. <laughs> Do you think anyone saw? <laughs> yeah, I think everybody saw, if that's what you wanted. But look at this. We went in, the classroom is right off to the right. There is no room. There's no space on the building for there to be a room over there. You know what I mean? The class was right there. There's a space for a classroom. All right, let's bust in here. I got a little bit before the next class starts. And I get a textbook. How useless is a textbook at Bullworth? Let's try again. And I got a werewolf mask. There you go. Now we're talking. You know, the only way... Well, class started, but there's a, a side mission way over in the corner. You know, the only place to get the werewolf mask is to steal it from a locker. You can't buy it anywhere. So there we go. Cool stuff. And he wants some TP. Got to go over to the janitor's room. Which you unlock this when you uh, beat Chapter 1. After you beat Russell, you can go in this way. Ah! Camera, come on. The camera isn't so bad in the PS2 version. I don't know why this does this. And here we go. Ah! Come on, come on. 
Oh, come on, dude. Seriously? Alright, so I am seriously gonna pummel this guy. Yeah! Take that, douche. You just wail on him. Oh! <laughs> and I beat him down and he gets the last word, see? Alright, I gotta go to class. There's not a prefect around. Let's try again. One more thing. Come on. Give me something cool last time. And another textbook. Dude, I attend Bullworth Academy. Textbooks are useless here. And apparently the next class is over here. Oh, 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 I've been here. I know what this is. This is math class. There's no math class in, in the PS2 version and Mr. Hattrick. See, I was right. I always wondered what Mr. Hattrick did because there's no math class in the PS2 version. All right, aim pointer, select answer, slow pointer. Answer as many questions. Okay, three plus four, seven. Uh, 50 is five and 45. Six times six, 36. There's two triangles. Smallest is a mosquito. 12 is 20 minus eight, right? The biggest is Saturn. The lowest is 203. Eight plus three is 11. Half is 0.5. The slowest is a monkey, I guess. 120 is 3 times 40. That's what it is. 7 minus 5 is 2. These aren't so hard. The fastest is a truck. 99 is 11 times 9. 12, 9. 7 times 5 is 35. The fastest is not a race car. <laughs> it's a spaceship. There's 5 squares. Half of 34 is 17. 15 minus 6 is 9. The fastest is a race car. 0.5 is a half. The tallest is the pyramids. The highest, hold on, blah, blah, blah. 79 is the highest. 7 plus 3 is 10. Doing pretty well here. 24 is... Hold on, drawing a blank. I'm brain farting here. Oh, oh, 12 times 2. Okay. Right, those were all easy questions. I'm imagining you uh, have less time to do them in the other classes. I'm guessing, I don't know. But I imagine that's going to get a lot harder. Kick it. Well, very cool. And I got a genius hat, which I'm probably never going to use. And I'm, still, I'm still carrying this stupid textbook. Anyway, let's go see if I can swap it for something better. I'm going to sip the brew while I'm doing it. And box of chocolates. All right, see, that's a lot more useful. Next time I want to hit up Eunice, I'm going to be needing that. Because she won't smother you unless you give her a box of chocolates first. <laughs> Give me some Eunice love. I'll remember this forever. All right. Going over to my garage. We're going to do the next mission. Which is, what was it again? The eggs. And again, I still love this mountain bike. Yeah, look at the acceleration on this thing. You don't even have to build up your speed or anything. It just takes off that way. That's pretty badass. And the egg starts over where the, uh, the Preps boxing gym is. Chapter 2, you spend quite a bit of time over here. Alright. I'm gonna do a hurdle. I just want to show you this real quick. You run up here to do this mission, and you know we can't associate with you until you wear some proper clothes, huh? You can't do it unless you go buy an Aquaberry sweater. They insist that you dress the way they do, he was wearing shoes or you can't participate. Fortunately, the Aquaberry store is right around the corner over here gonna sip the brew on the way in. Hello. You know you should try the new aqua And most of the stuff in this store, compared to all the other stores, is pretty expensive. This is where the preps buy all their clothes. And there we go. Got an aquaberry vest. Cha ching. Goodbye, and thank you for shopping with us. Thank you. 
All right, welcome back. Here we go again. Notice I'm not wearing the Aquaberry vest I had on. I now have an Aquaberry sweater. Same thing happened that happened a couple of videos ago. The game froze again. I had to start back from the original save point that I did, which means I had to do this entire day over again to get to this point. I had to do math oh, class again, geography class again. I was wondering if you'd show up, Hopkins. Nice Aquaberry sweater. Trey Sheik. Yeah. Wow. You look a bit Yeah, my friends were not bullshitting when yeah. I told so them beforehand yes, well that I was gonna do this game and they said it glitches Listen, everywhere. They me weren't bullshitting. We're planning a little revenge hit on old hat trick. We don't like what he did to that old soap Galloway. A chap could have a drink if he bloody hell wants to. That's what I think. So, <laughs> I'm gonna do that so right now. Friend, are you as they say in? Sure. Are you English? Well, no, I just speak this way because I'm very insecure. You see, my no father is a self-made man, so I pretend to be old money, but in fact, I'm really nouveau riche. But let's okay. help me. Okay, that makes boy. sense. Listen. That would have been my first guess. egg that old codger's house. Cool. Smashing. You go get some eggs and meet me and the chaps back at my house. All right. We're going to go egg that old Socatrix house. With these snobby assholes. Alright, so I'm, I already have eggs, that's why I don't have to go to the store to get some. And Tad lives straight up this way. Whoa, bitch, watch where you're going. And there's a car. This is a great bike. Once again, moves really quick. That scooter that we just passed, you can unlock that scooter later. It takes, it takes a little while. But, uh... I don't think it's very important. It actually goes really slow. It's harder to handle. And actually, bicycles are way better. They just move quicker. So, Dad's house is up here on the right. <laughs> I'm really glad that I put this hat on earlier because it goes great with this sweater. Got the eggs, Hopkins? Jimmy's got a lot of class. Give them to me. Take them. Smashing. Smashing. Now tell me, Hopkins. Is it true you said I was inbred? <laughs> no, because first cousins is legal, my friend. Legal. Yeah. That's okay. what I hear. Yeah, and just because my elder brother doesn't have a chin and ended up in a lunatic asylum, it doesn't mean anything. Whatever, Tad. Your family is your business. Don't lie, Jimmy. Yeah. You said Tad ah, here was we go. a hermaphrodite with that much inbreeding. A hermaphro <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't act dumb. You said his mom was also legally his aunt, and that he probably had webbed toes. I don't. Well, just only on one foot. <laughs> well, you'll be glad to hear yeah, that this right here not gonna take that kind of crap is one of the few times you're going to have to see you? Gary again before the end of the game. You, look at that snotty look on Gary's face. About mommy. What a fucking cocksucker, that guy. All right, so apparently we're not going to go egg hatrick. We have to fight off a bunch of preps. Technically, we really don't have to. All we have to do is run over to the gate and fight one prep and take the key and run out of here. But these guys, you'll notice, fight considerably better than the uh, the bullies that we fought before. All well, the preps, you know, run a boxing gym. <laughs> this is Chad, who apparently is a really sucky aim. Come on. Ugh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I got you from behind. Oh, I need one more shot. Didn't get it. I'll tell you what. Let's trip this guy up. <laughs> Good night. Sucker. Okay, so took them all out. There's one guy left. This guy has the key. We could have just run over to this guy and taken the key. The other guys would be jumping on you, but once you get the key from him, you can get out of here. And you don't have to fight everybody. Not too bad. But... There we go. All right, y'all. This was a pretty full day. <laughs> Got a lot done. I right. <laughs> did a lot of classes twice. And that's the end. All right. I'll catch y'all later. Thank you so much.